und willkommen für ein neues Episode von Marx Whiskey Ramblings. Now, why am I welcoming you in German? It's because we are in Berlin. Yes, we are in Germany, and behind me you can see the beautiful Berlin Dom, one of the largest Dom churches of Europe. But of course, I'm not your Berlin tour guide. No, I am your whiskey guide. And whenever I go on a, on a family holiday, I never leave home without a whiskey. And in this case, I brought one of my favorites. Achentaschen. Now this is a special Achentaschen because this is a single cask that was bottled exclusively for Belgium. Now I remember when I first tried this way back in 2010, I have to tell you, I didn't like it that much because it is very high in alcohol. It is a single cask, sherry but matured, and it has an, uh, an alcohol level of, and I have to, I have to peek here, uh, it is 61.5% ABV. 61.5, so it's not for the faint hearted. And the first time I tried it, I remember describing this as too hot to handle. Just goes to show that my palate was not yet experienced enough to enjoy this whiskey. But now, six years later, I'm coming back to it and I'm trying it again. I was recently given this bottle as a birthday present from my friends Nick and Ilse, the co authors of my book. Thank you very much, it's a beautiful present. And indeed, we tried it recently, and I have to say, it is fast becoming one of the, uh, well, one of the Toshans man's favorite uh, Aachen Toshan bottlings. So it is a 17 year old distilled in 1987, which means that it has been in the bottle since 2004, 2005. So it's been in the bottle for quite a while. Single cask, sherry butt. Let me tell you why this is becoming one of my favorite Aachen Toshan tipples. Let's start off with the color, which is a deep copper to auburn. And that's of course the sherry butt talking on the nose. Oh, very layered, very deep sherry as I would explain this. I get some cherries, a hint of chocolate, some mocha in there, some espresso. Oh, this is so beautiful. Some deep caramel as well. It's very fruity, very sweet. And there's no off note whatsoever in here on the palate. And now, be careful, 61.5% ABV. Let's give this one a go. The arrival is very powerful. The malt is very spicy at first. I get nutmeg, I get some cloves, some black pepper. But then, immediately, the fruitiness kicks in. Tangerines grapefruit, berries, brambles. It becomes citrusy, but then the toffee kicks in as well, giving this a multi-layered experience on the palate. Wow, I can imagine when I was a newbie to Scotch whiskey, this was indeed too hot to handle. But now, now that I have a bit of experience with almost 3,000 scotches under my belt, I have to say, this is very layered, very, very mature. This is, this is an Ochantoshin that'll make you go like, ooh, what a, what a powerful guy, what a, what a charismatic guy. This is not too hot to handle anymore, but it is still damn sexy. And that's what I like about this malt. On the finish then. Lingering and soft. Once that the saliva has mixed with the malt to tone down the alcohol content a bit, it fades very gently giving you even a spicy kick at the back of the throat at the very end. So a very long finish. This is something to enjoy, uh, you know, maybe not in the sun like me, but still this is, this is for me, this is quite a winter dram, in fact. Something that you can sip while sitting down in your Chesterfield, maybe even if you're up to it with a big cigar. Well, a single cask, 1987, bottled 2004, 2005, especially for Belgium, Sherry Butt, very powerful, 6 to 1.5% ABV, but very layered and very tasty indeed. One of my favorites. And that's it for this Whiskey Rambling from the beautiful city of Berlin. And I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.